Hello everyone and welcome to the Popular and Scholarly Sources Assignment Overview video. In today's assignment, we are going to be looking at another way to evaluate your sources, which is to determine whether they are popular or scholarly. Of these two terms, you are probably more familiar with scholarly. You may have had a teacher ask you to use a scholarly source, such as a book or a scholarly article. You may have seen a reference in an online news article to a scholarly journal. Scholarly is an academic term that describes sources that meet certain criteria, such as having expert authors, formal references, in-depth specific information, and others. So the audience and purpose of those types of sources are going to be different than what we call popular sources. Popular sources are probably more the sources you use every day. They have a different audience, purpose, author, etc. than scholarly sources. So if you ever have a teacher ask you for a scholarly source, now you know why. They're thinking about these intrinsic characteristics and what they can do to help you find the most high quality source. Another term you hear a lot in relation to scholarly sources is peer reviewed. Peer review is a very specific kind of overview that scholarly peer reviewed articles undergo. It means that one or more additional experts look over the information to ensure it is correct. Not all scholarly sources are peer reviewed, but scholarly articles are almost always peer reviewed. Popular articles have editing, but not always of that type or of that depth. So that's a key difference. In today's assignment, we are going to practice evaluating whether sources are popular or scholarly using periodical articles. Periodical articles, remember, are newspaper, magazine, and scholarly journal articles. And as I just mentioned, the reason we're doing this is because normally you see scholarly peer-reviewed journal as a requirement. So we're going to practice seeing how we can figure out if an article is scholarly and peer-reviewed. For the scenario, imagine you are writing a paper for a journalism class. Your teacher wants you to compare how authors of popular periodical articles and scholarly periodical articles address audiences differently, even when writing on the same subject. You need to choose one of the search phrases and highlight it. The one that's currently highlighted is going to be the one I use in the example videos. For part one, you're going to locate a popular periodical article on Google. If you need to see an example of how to tell if what you found is a periodical article, I have a video on Moodle to help you with that. You're going to list the URL of your article. In step two, you're going to identify and explain two characteristics of your article that indicate it is a popular source. These characteristics will be things from the reading, content, audience, language, author, etc. You can use any two characteristics of popular sources to justify your decision, except for graphics. Graphics would include the use of color, advertisements, and images. The reason I'm asking you to evaluate not based on graphics is because graphics are more helpful in print than they are online especially if you think about databases where everything is in a very standard form, you may not know it's a popular source just by looking for those things until you get to the PDF. You'll be graded based on how accurately you identify popular source characteristics and on how well you explain and support your evaluation with evidence from the source. I will have a demonstration video on how to evaluate a popular source and a scholarly source on our course Moodle page. For step three, you're going to cite the popular periodical article. I do have a link to Purdue OWL where you can see additional examples and a template for you to follow. 
for part two, you are going to use a library database to locate a scholarly periodical article and provide the permalink. Then, for step two, you will identify and explain two characteristics that indicate it is scholarly. And cite the periodical article using the citation tool in the database. For step four, you will also list any controlled vocabulary, aka subjects, that could help you find additional relevant articles on your topic. For part three, you're going to do a reflection paragraph where you compare the characteristics of your two articles. Note that we're comparing the characteristics, audience, author, purpose, etc. We're not actually comparing the information on the topic that's in the two different sources. Your paragraph should fully explain your reasoning and support your statements with evidence. It must also discuss each of the following questions. How do the popular article and the scholarly article differ in type and quality of information? It might help to think about how they differ in terms of accord to answer this question. In which situations would you use each type of article and why? I hope you find this video helpful as you complete today's assignment. If you do have any questions or you need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.